<sighs> I love when I love when my internet connection just sucks ass and I can't keep the stream up. Okay, well, it looks like I'm live now again at least. We'll see how long this lasts. I don't know how long I was gone for. Hi again. I mean, at least the game didn't crash. Knock on wood. The only thing I miss from, like, normal game is just being able to fast travel. I wish that was the case. Is it even, like, is the stream even going? I can't even tell, up. Oh, nope, there's the bitrate. The bitrate is back. Oof. Don't, I do not think our internet connection is very well suited for, uh, for five people and one of them working and another trying to stream. Mittens, you're so slow. It is because you are crouch walking, but you are so slow. I can see my sister's walking penny. That's always nice. Is there a bed in here? Not exactly the best place to sleep, but if there's a bed, I could use a bed. At the moment. to Windhelm, and then we will take a cart to Riften, and then we will actually speak to Mercer. being attacked by wolves. Who could have foreseen this? I 
wish the wolves would not attack me, but uh, here I am. It cannot be helped. Well, I guess they fucked off, because I don't hear them anymore, so I guess it can be helped. You know, I was watching something earlier, um, basically it was talking about how, like, the orcs are, orc is a really good class, or race in this game, because their ability is literally just, here, take half damage, and then, and then do double damage. And that's obviously great for, like, a warrior. And it's still okay for like a mage, even though even though the magic doesn't actually get affected by it for some reason. Like orc magic damage doesn't get increased with the ability. Um But the uh the flip side of that is um you know, despite it being like like rogues Despite it mainly being like a like a like a warrior thing, you would think. Um, um, it's actually really good for for assassins and like sneak builds because um, of the damage multipliers you get for sneak attacks. So like backstab does six times and but if you activated the but if you activated the um the orc ability it would be twelve times uh sneak attacks with bows do three times damage um and that would be up to six. Uh the classic conundrum of ads. Man. Hi, hun. I don't know how long the stream, how long ago the stream cut out. The, I do not have great internet. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Riften again. But, um, I ended up going back to the tomb, uh, that I start- that I went- that I stopped at, at, like, the beginning of this stream. Um, because that was a place that I actually needed to go for this quest that I'm doing. Which is a, um, a creation club, slash, uh... D um, what what's it called? I don't remember. Um, special edition quest. But yeah, like orcs in this game are funny because. Um, they make for not very, not as good mages, but really good, um, warriors and even better rogues, which I think is funny. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. If it wasn't for Skuma, I'd already be on my way out of this horror. All my gold, completely gone. Although I suppose a little mead now and then would be harmless. Sure. You've been kind. I thank you. Mm. Um, one thing that I want to do, um, kind of for the girls and kind of for the, for myself is there's, well.
My joy knows no bounds. Here, a little payment for your troubles. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. Yeah, so now I have the Grey Cow of Nocturnal. It's fine, except um, guards turn hostile, so I probably should. So it's basically like I never use this in inside of cities type of thing. Although I wonder if I can use it to get around um, bounties, like if I can use it to like turn guards hostile and then kill the guards without them getting without getting like a bounty for something. Ah, hey, Mercer. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same markings at Hunting Brew. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. Impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Okay. So, how do we do that? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. Oh dear. His real name is Gullamai. Can you really call that a... How can you be sure that it's his real name? Like if you're, like... Like if he's gone un under an alias before, how can you be sure that it's his real name? I guess that's whatever. It's very subjective. Sale of Golden Glow Estate, and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Okay. I'm not gonna speak to Brynjolf because I. Well, I'll speak to Brynjolf. Why not? I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Think he'll give me trouble? Trouble? Huh. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. How do I get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Betrayal or not, I'll let him live. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Gollumai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Sure. Gollumai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim's shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays his cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gollumai alive, but remind him who we are. The... No, it's all good. Okay. For now, it's all good. God, that is so loud. I hate that. It's so, like, unrepentantly loud. Honestly, the, it, it is the one thing I miss from... Like, I actually miss from... 
from uh like base game is I you could use a drink what do you say to some cheap mead I just wish I could fast travel for a day I'll show you to your room right this way This is the wrong room. Ah, <sighs> jeez, Mittens, going to bed at 8 a.m.? What's going on, huh? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, it's you. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the Dian Bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. No, I figure. The bunkhouse is the house for people who need it. Me and Dad were having a conversation, and it was basically like, like, t Dad's. That's kind of a dick, and he mostly thinks of things um, regarding profit. And he was like, he like he was like suggesting like if I got a bigger place, that I basically become Where do you want to go? like the landlord of said spot, and like and like if I have people staying with me, like basically being a landlord, and like I, it's. I don't know, that's one thing that I just really dislike. But his thing was like, one of his things was like, one of his like comebacks to me saying that I didn't want to be a landlord was like, so you would rather just, you would, so your plan, like basically he said it like, so your plan is to be wealthy enough to house everybody. And like, god that's a whole fucking, like thing. But also just... Oh, I was gonna... I was gonna go back to... Um... My house. Which... <sighs> hey... I'm gonna cheat for like a second. I hate not having fast travel. And I literally just want to be able to, um, to like play some to like make some potions that's all I want to do here I'll put on survival mode in a, in a second. I just. It really sucks not having fast travel when you want to, like, make a quick run over to your house to, like, get some. Get some alchemy ingredients and make some potions. It is, quite frankly, very stupid.
don't remember the potions that I that I have set up here. Nightshade, Death Bell. You and I, we're the only people in Skyrim worth loving. That's what I think. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Of course it has. Would you expect any less of me? Here. This is your half, my love. Leave it. Take the world by storm, dearest. I really like my... like... Not to frame it this way, because that's all... because it's kind of weird, but I really like my choice of, like... Like, Evrusa, Evrutha, um, is cool. I like her a lot. The unfortunate thing is a lot of the, like, characters, like, the, they're just kind of one-dimensional, but they are cool in a lot of ways. The bar is not even moving, holy shit. Anyway, um... Okay, this will restore health and, inc and fortify it. Alchemy level 70. to solitude in a moment. Oh, right, because I'm technically not on survival mode right now. Alchemy level 70, I can either make stronger potions, two ingredients are gathered from plants. Let's, let's do merchant because that's going to be useful. not pull out my headset again. Evrusa Sarethi. Gosh, I'm sometimes the fool. Alright. Back to solitude. And then I can I can turn off I can turn back on survival mode.
I wish, like, mage playthroughs were more interesting. In Skyrim. Fletching suits but I do, I do like... Uh, they're reforming at dawn guard. I do like Vampire alchemy something the old fort near Riften. might consider joining up myself seems there's no way it is comparatively Blades, kind of tedious helmet. pretty much anything to suit your needs it's something where you kind of need to like hunt down some really good alchemy ingredients or know how to farm things all right I can, I'm gonna get rid of the fine hat the normal clothes and the less extravagant uh, captain's clothes. Do I want the brown boots or the black boots? The brown boots. I've decided. to tell if if the stream is still going okay take a good look around I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for if not let me know I might have it stored yeah, away. looks like it's fine <laughs> why hello clothes and raiment for the discerning customer I try to keep the stream open on my phone but like my phone itself actually is also like having connection issues. It's not on the Wi-Fi, which is a which is a plus because if it were on the Wi-Fi, it would probably just um, no. You're fine. You're all good, hon. Um, c but if it was on the Wi-Fi, I would probably just have like even more problems with trying to. Thank you for your patronage. We're trying to stay connected. Um, you know, I... <laughs> I want to frame this in the best way possible because because sure it is more Here's of an inspiration. Day. Take a look. I would love to continue Cassette Beast, honey. That game, that game rules. So I would love to. Um. But um. I I mean this in a genuinely like I I am inspired by this thing sort of way, even though my confidence wants to say, wants to argue a different. Um, sort of telling of it. But, um, I'm... I'll show you to your room. I'm a writer, or at least I, I try to be. I haven't gotten anything published. Um, but I, I, it would, it's something that I would love to be able to actually do. Um, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Um, but like, I've been rewatching Kipo, which is some, which is a show and a story that is very like dear to me in Let a lot of ways. Anything else you need? It's. It's something that I that I want to be able to. To enjoy, and I, and it's something. Which I can, obviously, but like, it, it, I hope that I can eventually be 
like like I hope it I hope something I write becomes something like that to someone else even though even though what I write isn't exactly close to it there is like at least one or two post apocalypse type things that might so that I want to write that might have here? get closer hmm. to let me guess by your scent i'd say you were from the guild but that can't be true because i told mercer i wouldn't deal with them anymore well fuck you dude come here i'm here about golden glow dude i don't deal in land or property now if you're looking for goods you've come to the right person you can drop the act now gradually It's oh, it's not necessarily inspiration. Glow estate? Uh, my apologies. It's not necessarily the fact that I'm like I'm inspired that. by it. It's Was just it? like like I sh I know I shouldn't necessarily, but I kind of put like that show along with some others on a bit of a pedestal. And I know I'm a I'm a writer, not necessarily like a like a not necessarily like someone who works on shows. But like, like a lot of shows kind of mean a lot to me because I do enjoy watching. But like, yeah. Although, <laughs> although you mentioned Adventure Time or Pacific Rim, but genuinely, um, the thing that I constantly the thing that I genuinely constantly attribute to Kipo is is Fallout. It's very Fallout to me. You're the best the guild's got. They're in worse shape. Oh, shut up! Imagine. Just I don't. I was taking oh, a moment. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that. Uh, you acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Look, identify the buyer and we'll forget what we know. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. It's okay, we'll make this simpler. Give me the buyer's name, or I'll kill you. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. Fine. What would it take to identify the buyer? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Fine. But like my it's it's more just that like I I I I'm not worried about about like ripping anything off. I like honestly that's what that's like the easiest part for me to to ignore in terms of writing. I'm I'm more than fine just like writing something and it being very similar to something else and just letting that be the case cuz Honestly, like sometimes when you wear your inspirations on your sleeve, it it can help the 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 project a little bit. I mean, I brought up I I'm bringing up Miskatonic um in in the story that I'm writing that isn't that currently isn't available because the other But yeah, like Miskatonic is like I'm I I bring up Miskatonic in the one story that's like an original story that I'm working on right now, as opposed to the fanfic. 
because, yeah, Call of the Cthulhu Mythos is a direct inspiration, and I'm wearing that on my sleeve. What I'm... What I'm more hopeful of is just, like... Like, you, I... You help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Oh. I have an idea, actually. We're gonna get sidetracked a little bit. Um, but, like, it it's more just, like, I want to be able to say that, like... Or, I... Maybe not even be able to say, but I'm always... But, like, it's a quiet hope in my mind that if I ever get published that the story that I the stories that I write will affect people in the same way that like Kipo genuinely kind of just affects me because it is a story that I it's a story and a show that I deeply enjoy that it I just deeply enjoy it please take pity on an old madman what do you need my master has abandoned me abandoned his people and nothing I say can change his mind now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Where can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Why don't you just leave your master? You have nothing to break, but you have nothing to lose but your chains. Workers of the world rise up. Anyway, oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. All right, okay. Then. All right then. been in Radiant Raymond. So the fun thing about um, the current the new perk that I got is I can just well let me wait an hour is I can just go into any store and sell anything as long as it's not stolen. And that is very yes. helpful. Take a look. Yeah, what if I just sold the Grey Cal of Nocturnal? Actually, I think I need some lockpicks anyway. Thank you for all six of those, ma'am. Very excited for Remnant. If you were there for Rogvir's execution, thank you for helping my aunt. Earlier. Was I? I'll I don't know. Around. Speaking of your aunt, where is she? I need to like actually sell stuff to someone. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. <sighs> so you're interested. I'm in not going to think about that one too much. I'm not going to decide how Mittens' family feels about her. Mostly because I don't want to think about that right now. Three whole potions. 
or two whole potions basically sold. Cleared out her inventory. Well, mm. I'm still oh, kind of sore. Fish for you. Just what you see here. My um. I haven't been feeling a hundred percent since uh. Like see for yourself. Come back when you figure I haven't been a hundred percent since the uh. Good luck out there. Seems like a time to be wandering skyward. Since the trip, but I've um. You know I'm trying to uh take care. And I feel mostly up to streaming, so I wanted to do some of that. Although, given the fact that, like, the connection seems to be rough, and, like, and energy-wise I'm not feeling too great, I might end it pretty soon, but if I... If I still have a connection, I do want to just kind of do this next quest, because that, this one is a pretty good one. It's pretty fun. It's one of it's a danger quest which is very funny. There are some danger quests that are just completely out there and interesting. I don't want to talk to Falk. Falk that guy. Hey, uh, Erdi. We just clean there. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, Falk asked me to check it out. Well, I suppose in that case, it's okay to let you in, but only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't okay. Don't anything up while you're here. Into the Pelagius wing we go. Oh yeah. Um when I was I I, I texted my boss um this morning. Um I'm basically um I mean, it's because I quit, you know, like, I told her, like, hey, I quit, um, but, like, but, like, I'm basically not working this week, which would have been the last week anyway, but, like, you know, she's like, oh, okay, you're done working, then you're done working, I don't need you the extra week. I was naked for a second there. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that mark. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well! If you're going to be like that, <laughs> perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my well, like, responsibilities and burdens. It, it depends on the... It depends on the job. Like, it depends on the job where, like, the... Like, it is, a, it is an at-will sort of thing where, like, the job I had was basically... 
you can quit whenever you want and they can fire you whenever you want and i but like generally speaking and maybe it's like stuff that my parents taught me in less um in less actual like wise in less of a wise thing to do but like i quit but like giving two weeks just seems like a decent like hey just so you know especially if like my current my next step like i'm in a very comfortable situation where like i'm not having to pay rent or like there's nothing that's like currently like needing to be paid so the So, like, yeah, it's polite, at the very least. And, like, and like missing a week of work, especially for, for like, 12 an hour part-time, that's not going to hurt me too much. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Who are you talking to? Pelagius the third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Wait, where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Uh, I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Same. Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually... I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? I think I made a mistake coming here. Oh, no, 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 no. No mistake at all. What you made is a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but these things happen. <laughs> oh, the folly of you. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. All I cared about was... Riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking babies' tea leaves. Word of advice if you ride a narwhal, mind the pointy end. Ah, but there I go. Waxing poetic about me misspent youth. Now, where were we? <laughs> yes, you're the mortal messenger. And I am? Honestly, have you any idea? You're a madman? Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive. And having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. S um, so are you gonna leave or no? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Any idea where you are? 
where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? The Wabajack was equipped. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. So this is Shiagora. The path of dreams. Unfortunately yeah. for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel. But Shiagorath is very fun. Unfortunately, um, this is the only quest with him in, in Skyrim. He has a whole DLC dedicated to himself um, in in Oblivion, that, which is honestly like what makes me want to play Oblivion. So the Wabajack is fun because ignoring like what it's doing now, this is all nonsense comparatively. Um, but it has like a random effect to the including like turning things into chickens and stuff. Like it is just entirely random as a as like a as like the full concept. Something to throw about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. But yeah, Shigorath is really fun. Now you, you can call me oh, Anne Marie, but only if you're partial you to being flayed like alive and having an angry immortal skip a rope with your entrails. So. You see, Genuinely one of my favorite Pelagius, lines in anything. Let us say you Although I suppose in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a second. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she feel the cleaver and make people afraid? Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger can come from anything, at any time, never by anyone. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And... We're that much closer to home. But yeah, he's... Um, something really fun about the Elder Scrolls is gods sort of have this thing um, tied into their abilities and personality of mantling, which is... Which is ah, to say... Hold on. This is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. But, um, um, mantling is this unique thing. Um, well, not unique necessarily. It is very, it is very, um, but it is very neat. Of just mantling is essentially the ability to take up the role that a god plays. So if Sheagorath is the Daedric Prince of Madness, um, you can basically take his job by acting in a way that is similar to him. 
And to do so, um, I am taking this food because I do need some seer some like actual, like having some actual food. Um, so, um, when he says when he says it's a family title, it gets passed down from me to myself every few th every thousand years or so. Um, yeah um so he is so he is basically the assumption that he is just literally the player character from oblivion um but the taxi and playing himself. the oblivion the oblivion me. dlc they're always carried out on the weakest part of this branch of the the self-clothing lances pelages and anger ah but his confidence will shrink with every you must bring the two into battle. Wonderfully done. Lucas is finally ready to love himself. And continue. You beg me to kill you before I'm done. But yeah, like, Sheogorath is the best is the best example of it, but I really love the idea of mantling um gods and like basically like Yeah, it's very cool. But yeah, the Shivering Isles is like very neat to me. In that, do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I've done it. I fixed Pelagius's mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like. One does to a rash, or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third. Once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now oh, so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! <laughs> Ta -ta. And we're back to reality. Up there goes gravity, and so on. Oop. Leather backpack. Charmed necklace. Ceteralia clothes, bond of matrimony. There we go. Plus, now I can walk again. And now, I have the Wabajack. The angry face, the sad face, and the happy face. A blast from, Wa from the Wabajack has an unpredictable effect. And boy, does it mean unpredictable. Anything from turning your your opponent into a chicken, to doing damage, to really anything. 
Um, but I think that's gonna be it for now. Um, I am kind of beat, and I want to I want to get back to streaming, but I want to like not wear myself out instantly. Um, another stream probably tomorrow, but for now, uh, I think it is good to have been back with mittens. But yeah, connection and everything, I think I'm just going to take a break. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you next chance I get. Mittens isn't going anywhere. We love her and her nonsense very dearly. One second. Okay. Um, and I will see you all when I see you next. Bye-bye now.